Hey guys, welcome to another day, another vlog. Okay, so I'm starting this vlog very late. Usually I try to vlog in the mornings. It's been a really rough couple of days. So I kind of like lost motivation for a little bit. There's a lot that's been going on in my life right now and just mentally and physically, it's been really, really hard on me. I'm just trying to like keep the ball rolling and like try to get through these past couple of days and get back into my routine. Also what's killing me is that I have not been able to get into the gym and have a workout routine so i think i'm gonna start going physically into a gym in january with brian's schedule and my schedule it doesn't really work out in our favor i actually got a couple of things for the girls i wish there was a light in here but i, I guess there isn't i went to once upon a child just to get a couple of things for the girls so i found these two outfits as you guys know i have twins so i got these two this one says happy as can be i have two babies that don't want to sleep i don't know what's going on i don't know if every baby doesn't want to sleep because i've been seeing um other vlogs of other moms babies do not want to go to sleep and my girls used to take like two hour naps three hours i don't know what's happening they don't want to sleep so i am just letting them be so i also found this little sweater type thing i found two which i'm excited about because i i like them to match sometimes not all the time but i think sweaters I think it will look cute i still need to wash these things these are two little sweaters with hoodies how cute are these and then i got some like onesies and sleepers and stuff just because the girls literally live in these it's pretty cold and i'm sure in cali it's going to be cold as well so i try to get more sleepers since we're gonna be there oh my god what's going on my nose so i decided to get some more because like i said i'm going to cali so i'm sure it's going to be cold and i don't want the girls to be cold i got this other one and i also got christmas pajamas but i totally forgot to look at the label it says newborn so i'm hoping the girls fit in this because it, there's no return because it, it was final sale i don't know i didn't look but they're the same and they're both newborn um thought it would be cute for them since it's going to be cold and then my daughter picked out some stuff she's like mom how cute is this this is a cheetah print little zip up hoodie so we are all going to california so this will be her first time in cali and i'm so excited well her second time because her dad took her when she was little to the beach a long time ago she picked out this other sweater super cute and then she picked out well actually i picked out these jeans these are from well this brand cat and jack this is from target so super cute jeans they're like boot cut at the bottom i love these for her and then i also got these well these are levi's they're skinny levi's super cute so i just need to wash that for them i'm thinking of doing my laundry today just because i've been working i just woke up from a nap like an hour ago i'm gonna have to take out brian's laundry because he <laughs> he was doing laundry and he left clothes in the dryer irritates me sometimes and then he has clothes in the washer i need to do the dishes usually i never do this like I, I was so tired earlier that like i just needed to just lay down so we all took a nap actually maya does not want to sleep at all here baby here Let's hope that did the trick. Just because I also have not been, I think I've said that in my previous vlog. I also have not been able to like work out here because the girls have not been able to sleep. Like, sorry, I don't know what's going on with my nose. I feel like I'm always in a gray sweater 
on here. The lighting kind of sucks. I was cooking bacon earlier for Brian and I think it splattered everywhere. So I don't know if I have stains everywhere, but if you see the stains, that is why. And also because I had the growth on me as well. I turned off the TV in, their, in the room. Let's see if they're gonna go to sleep or if they stay asleep, then I can do what I need to do in the kitchen. I'm also gonna show you guys my what's in my diaper bag type of situation because I need to clear it out and I need to add more stuff to it. Prepare it for this trip to be honest and see what fits, what I have in there, what I need to take out and all of that. One thing that I wanted to talk about, I was listening to this podcast and they were talking about how are you going to pour into other people if your glass is barely full. It's so crazy because as a mom or as a person that pours into everybody, I never put myself first. Everybody else comes first before me. And it's true. How are you going to keep pouring into everybody if you're not pouring into yourself? 2024? Listen. There's a lot of boundaries that I am going to set up because I need to pour into myself, but I physically and mentally, I need to take care of myself. I'm also gonna sign up for therapy. So I was thinking about better help. I am not sponsored whatsoever like I want to, but um, I am not. So I think I'm thinking of doing better help for um, therapy. I heard that and I was like, oh my God, it resonates with me so much because I pour into everybody and I never pour into myself because I always put myself last. I wanted to share that because as a mom, like I'm always pouring into everybody's cup, right? And I don't have enough for myself sometimes. So I don't even have sometimes a lot of time to myself. Sometimes you have to be selfish and sometimes you have to set boundaries, whether that's with family, that whether that's with friends, whether that's with coworkers, um, your significant other. Sometimes you really, really do have to set up boundaries and take care of yourself for you mentally and physically. So I wanted to share that for you guys, but also it's also for me because I really want to focus on that in 2024 because I do matter to you and I want to be able to take care of myself because if I don't take care of myself who's gonna take care of the people I take care of you know what I mean hopefully you guys get a kind of like an inspiration or kind of like the idea of what I'm talking about but yeah my life in 2023 was really not the greatest like this year was very 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 hard on me it was a year of like miracles i have twins at 20 weeks and like didn't have a lot of time to process like they told me there's two babies in there at 20 weeks and within a week and a half i have to be admitted at the hospital so like everything happened like so quickly and i didn't even have time to like settle in so like if i would have known from the beginning i feel like everything would have turned out differently but everything was so quick and so rushed it was such a high risk pregnancy that i've never experienced i honestly didn't even know when was the day that they were going to be discharged from the nicu first time nicu mom i was in the hospital every day twice a day it was very very hard on not only on me on brian on my family on other people on my daughter because like after homework we had to literally go to the hospital for three hours and come back so i would say that 2023 was a very eye-opening year for me as well that's all i wanted to say i feel like i went on a rant of like 2023 what's going on in my life a little update and what i've been listening to i've been listening to podcasts um lately I haven't been listening to music. Um, that's something I need to stop. Like I love music. It makes me feel good when I'm in the gym, but when I'm out, I'd rather get my mind right, listen to self-improvement podcasts or self-motivation. I also have a podcast myself. It's called Lifestyle with T. Everything is always in the description box below if you didn't know. I also need to get into a schedule, into a routine with my podcast. I need to really sit down and pour my heart into this podcast. Lala.
disrespectful. I have a lot of people that watch my videos and judge me. Like I have family members that don't like me doing YouTube. Like I have a lot of hate and a lot of judgment. I also have people listening to my podcast. So I really have to be careful of what I say sometimes. Although like, you know, I'm very straightforward and I really don't care. It's literally my opinion and what I think about it. So yeah. If you want to follow my podcast, in the, it says in the description box below. I also have my Amazon storefront. Literally everything that I have is in my Amazon storefront. I'm done talking. I feel like I talk too much. I share with you guys a lot of things. It's so quiet in this house. I can't take it. So the girls are finally down for a nap. I'm going to do what I need to do. been a couple days i've been doing some b-roll i've been working again so i have not been able to do much around the house i've been getting up at four o'clock in the morning next week we're going to california so i'm trying to work this week and then next month i start my job I did mention that i was going to show you guys what's in my bag this is the base diaper bag this is what it looks like I absolutely love this bag, you guys. They're not sponsoring this. They don't even know who I am. Like, although I wish they knew who I am so they can sponsor this. But anyways, um, this is my diaper bag. When I knew that I was pregnant and I knew that I wanted to buy a very nice quality diaper bag, I chose base because not only they have like backpack, they also have a play diaper bag that I want to get eventually when the girls get a little bit older. I actually have to go through this bag. This is why I'm doing a what's in my diaper bag type of situation just because I need to go through this bag. So when you open it, it's a big pocket so everything is in there. So in here I have the little changing pad. I've used this a couple times already whenever we had to go to so many appointments of the the girls in those occasions we have to change the girls in the bathrooms this came in handy also you can actually grab this and put this in another bag and it has a pocket right here where you can put you like your um, wipes you can put in here and you can just take this with you which i think it's very beneficial and here i also have paperwork of the girls like their vaccination this is very important oh my god See, I knew I had to go through this. Underneath that, there's a pocket and I honestly don't have anything. My thing is pockets. Like I have two babies. As long as I can put everything in here and I needed something big and spacious. This is perfect. Look how big this is. Like, listen. Yes, absolutely. They need to sponsor me. But anyways, another pocket on this side. I don't have anything in there. So I have hand sanitizer. Every time I touch something, I have to like hand sanitize if I'm touching handles, if we're going somewhere, if I'm getting gas or something like that. Although I have a big tub of hand sanitizer in my car. So it's always handy. Also, so I have some hellebore wipes. These came with the subscription that I had. I don't have Hello Bello anymore as a subscription. They were good. I love their diapers, to be honest. 100% recommend. I love the print. I like how the girls don't get a rash. They could literally be in the diapers for hours. They don't get a rash. It absorbs very nicely. So, love Hello Bello for that. But, unfortunately, I don't have the subscription anymore. If I'm in the store and I see them, I definitely will buy them. Hello Bello diapers. So these are size one diapers. Super cute. They have different prints. This one has the ABC. This one has little dinosaurs. These are the same ones actually. Very nice. I love these diapers so much. So I have 
them in here. Right now we're actually trying Kirkland brand from Costco and honestly I really really love their diapers so far. Very affordable. I also have a plastic bag in here. Put their blowouts whether it's poop everywhere, whether they throw up everywhere. So I want to be able to you know separate it so i have that this bag also comes with another bag this is technically like a clutch type of situation credit cards in here money in here or whatever the case but in here it comes with the stroller straps which i appreciate that base <laughs> i appreciate that so much it has handles right here so you can strap this bag to the stroller and you have your hands free that's what i absolutely love like i love having my hands free this is empty i technically don't put anything in here unless going somewhere but i also put my wallet in here so when i'm with the girls and i don't have a bag this is my bag this also comes with a pacifier holder which this is my first time that i ever have a pacifier holder because literally i never had this this is actually attached to it too i feel like you can also attach your keys to this super super nice so i used to have all these pacifiers in here not anymore so this is very handy so when we go to cali i'm gonna try to see if i can fit some pacifiers in here this also comes with a toy super Super cute. I think this is very, very nice when the girls get a little bit bigger that they can actually play with toys. More like also a teeter as well. This came actually in this bag. I have a burp cloth, which I'm gonna throw these out. I got these from Amazon and I do not recommend those. The ones that we recently got was these. So we got these, I'm gonna link these in my Amazon storefront. One, because they absorb very nicely. They don't stain at all and it also becomes a bib. So the girls are already like drooling crazy. Look, it has like little clips right here where you can snap. This can go around their neck. I love these so much. So it comes in a pack of like six. I'm gonna have them in my Amazon storefront. It's in the baby section. Also, one thing about me, I hate leaving dirty diapers anywhere. If I'm throwing a diaper out, like whether it's pee, whether it's poop or a blowout or anything like that, I like to put it in a bag. It's very respectful in a way because like, let's say you're in an office or you're in somebody's house. You don't want their house to smell really bad. So I have these arm and hammer like little bags that like smells really good. Um, it doesn't leave a dirty smell or anything like that. So I also have these in my Amazon storefront. So I'll leave them in the description. I have another diaper. I don't have really much because I haven't been taking the girls a lot anywhere. I have a lotion. This is from this brand. I do not know how to pronounce this, but this is the brand name. Body lotion, fragrance free. I love this with a girl's face. And I also have some butt paste. Diaper rash cream. This is actually my first time trying this diaper rash because I used to use this in for Aaliyah. So there's pockets in here and there's a pocket right here. They have two pockets over here, which I think I have change in here. It's good for two bottles. Two bottles that fit in here. The pockets are very deep, which I like. Another pocket on this side. I have a lip booster. Uh, that is that and then i have hand sanitizer i have two hand sanitizers which is great here i have pen which you need whenever you're out and about and need to write something I have aqua four gum which i have two packets of gum actually i have this one and i have this is brand new the orbit and then there's a couple of them in here then i also have a vino moisturizer lotion for myself my hands are always dry this pocket oh wow this is so old i have the little stickers when i used to pump for the girls because i used to have a lot of colostrum i have the girls tag i have my tag three more pens wow do i need all these pens i have tampons obviously i'm a mom and i'm i still get my period that's pretty much it that's all i have in my bag you guys so i'm just gonna put this all in there i hope you guys enjoy the vlog don't forget to like can subscribe if you haven't already if you're new hi if you want to subscribe so you can be part of the family i really appreciate you guys so much thank you so much for tuning in i love you and i'll see you in my next one bye <laughs>